okay, so that was my uh, trick, the Force Unleashed. It's uh, based off of the Use the Force trick I did a while back. That video got a lot of success, and I think people really enjoyed it. I got multiple tutorial requests for it. Uh, I never really got to that trick, so uh, I figured that since this trick is easier, and uh, it's much easier to make a tutorial and all for it, I think I'd just make this one, since it's almost just as cool and even easier. Alright, so let's get started. Basically, the first step is really simple. It's just a breakaway. But instead of doing just a breakaway, we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to throw it at a little bit, and I mean a little bit of a horizontal axis. So just, like, by that, I mean like that much. Like, literally tiny. So just have it, like, at a tiny bit of a tilt, like about that much. So from there, we're just going to take uh, these three fingers right here, put them underneath the string like this, okay? Then you're going to want to put the yo-yo into an undermount. You're going to want to overlap it one more time like that then basically all you're going to do is you're going to take this uh, slack and you're going to whip it over and you're going to undo what you just did basically so you're going to be in a single undermount and uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this finger right here and pinch the string that's on top of your middle finger and uh, that's the first couple steps So once you're here, once you have the finger pinching the other one, you're basically, this is the one, this is the one part that's a little bit tricky, I'd say, and uh, you're just basically going to take um, this string and whip it around the yo-yo and onto the yo-yo itself, alright? Now this is a little bit easier said than done since the only reason why this is actually a little bit difficult is because the string has to stay underneath the thumb. Okay, it can't go o it can't go over the thumb like that, and it's very easy to accidentally do that. The easiest way to prevent this from happening is to always focus on keeping your thumb pointed upwards and to not have this swinging motion like an over motion, have it sort of like a, a forward motion, so like that so that and then eventually you'll hook it onto the yo-yo itself and then there's also a cheat to it so you basically it doesn't look anywhere near as cool but you just basically take the string and uh, put it around manually it doesn't look as cool but it does the same thing so now you're here and uh, the reason why we want to throw it at a little bit of a horizontal axis is because the physics of an injection that's what this technique is called at least as far as I know it's a bit rare of a technique, not many people do it. I'm starting to find out of a lot more tricks that involve this technique, so I'm trying to make as many as I can. The thing about an injection is that you're using the spin of the yo-yo to shoot the string out of the gap of the yo-yo. So what I'm saying is that you want the string to be jammed up next to the response pad, and that basically will shoot the yo-yo string out. Alright, so the reason why we threw it at a horizontal axis is because that makes this response pad over here lean in more and that makes the string be pushed up against the response pad right there so that it can feed in and out of the yo-yo. So, like that. So don't worry, this step isn't really hard, it's just you, you just want to kind of experiment with it and see what best fits you. Another reason why we wanted to throw it at a bit of a horizontal axis is because we're going to want to like take this thumb and pu pull it this way, so just twist your hand this way. And the reason is because sometimes the string will inject through this loop like that, and when you grab it, it's not in the right shape. So basically by twisting your hand this way, that gives the string only one way to go when you go to, gr when you go to grab it. So once you're here, you're just basically going to, when you turn your hand this way, you're just going to let the slack off. And hopefully, if you did it right, the string will shoot out. Alright, now when the string shoots out, you're just going to want to take these two fingers, or whichever fingers you want, and catch the loop like this. From here, the rest of the trick is pretty easy. You just want to drop the string off of there, and uh, you want to rotate this hand like that, so you basically unwrap the loop that was around the string. 
and uh, you want to roll the yo-yo over this hand right here and behind this string so like that then you want to reposition your index finger so that it's pointing away from you like this into this loop you want to roll the yo-yo onto this string so like that drop the string off of your index finger and now you're in a GT so now your thumb should be in this loop right here you want to just take this index finger put it here roll the yo-yo on drop all the strings off like that then uh, from there you're just basically going to do an upside down GT and let the yo-yo fall back towards you so like that laying in a trapeze bind however you want and that's the entire trick Eventually, after that injection, you can get the part after that kind of fast. Um, and uh, that just makes the trick look even more cooler. That's, that's another reason why I named it the Force Unleashed, because it's just automatically a faster trick than use the Force. And uh, it's much easier to go faster. It's much more consistent of a trick, too. Like, sometimes the use the Force trick just will not work. Like, it just will not inject the strings for some reason. The thing with the use the force yo-yo trick is that it's a lot more yo-yo specific sometimes. And, like, uh, it just works a lot better with some yo-yos than it would with others. And um, with uh, the force unleashed, it's just easier to uh, use different yo-yos than it would be on the other one. So, yeah, that was it. And uh, if you liked it, go ahead and give it a like so I know which videos you guys like and which ones I should post. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, more, uh, tutorials are coming up on my more technical and crazy advanced tricks like, uh, this one. And, uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop right there because I don't want to spoil that trick for a future video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bam.